सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर नाइन पर्सनैलिटी डिवेलपमेंट थ्रू योगा नाइन पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट सेवन अकर्ण धनुरासन बो एंड एरो पॉस्चर अकर्ण मीन्स इयर एंड धनु मीन्स बो इन दिस आसन द पॉस्चर रिजेंबल्स लाइक अ बो In this posture, hand is pulled up to ear like pulling a bow and arrow. Hence, this is called Akarn Dhanurasan. Let us perform Akarn Dhanurasan by following the steps given below. Step one: Sit and stretch out both the legs in front. Keep both the arms by the side of the body. Palms should be resting on the ground. Fingers together, pointing forward. To better understand this, please check the image given on this page. Step two: Catch hold of the right big toe by the hook of the index finger and thumb of the left hand, exactly as shown in the image on the page. Step three: Make the hook with the help of index finger and thumb of right hand. Clasp the big toe of the left leg. For better clarity check the second image given on the right side of the bottom of the page step 4 bend the right leg at knee pull the feet by the toe so as it reaches up to the left ear step 5 maintain the position for 5 to 10 seconds page number 132 step 6 to come back lower the right foot release the hand and keep it by the side now bring the left leg on the floor release the right hand and keep it by the side of the body do it from other side changing the position of legs and hands remember the following points do's keep the trunk and head erect while bending the leg the arm should be straight pull the foot up to ear as much as you can don'ts do not jerk or strain In the beginning do not pull the foot up to ear benefits this asan is beneficial in constipation and indigestion it strengthens the abdominal muscles muscles of arms and legs it makes the legs supple limitation do not practice if suffering from spinal complaints dislocation of hip joints and sciatica 9.4.8 Matsyasan fish posture In Sanskrit matsy means fish In final posture of this asan the body takes shape of a floating fish The folded legs resemble the tail of a fish hence it is called matsyasan This asan should be performed under the supervision of an expert Let us perform matsyasan by following the steps given below step 1 sit in padmasan step 2 lie on the back with support of the elbows step 3 lift the neck and chest slightly up the back should be arched and raised from the ground step 4 bend the head backward and place the crown of the head on floor to understand step 1 till 4 Please check the image given on this page. Page number 133. Step 5. Make hooks with the index fingers of both hands and clasp the big toes with hooks of opposite hands. Step 6. Maintain the position for 10 to 15 seconds or as long as comfortable. Step 7. To come back, release the toes. place hands on the ground raise head up with the support of hands sit with the help of the elbows remember the following points do's try to make the maximum arch of the spine keep the arms bent at the elbows the crown of head must touch the floor the knees must touch the ground don't Do not allow the knees to come up from the ground while arching the back while leaning backward do not strain benefits it improves blood supply to the brain it regulates the functioning of thyroid gland 
and improves immune system. It elevates backache and cervical spondylitis. It diverts the blood from the legs to the pelvic region and helps to increase the tone of the abdominal muscles. It is beneficial in lungs and respiratory disorders. Limitation Avoid practicing this asan in case of vertigo, cardiovascular diseases, hernia, arthritis, knee and ankle and spinal problems. 9.4.9 Bhujangasan Cobra Posture Bhujangasan comprises two words, Bhujang and Asan. In Sanskrit, Bhujang means cobra, snake, and Asan means posture. In the final position of this Asan, the body resembles the shape of a hooded snake. Hence, the posture is called Bhujangasan. Let us perform Bhujangasan by following the steps given below. Step 1. Lie prone on the ground with forehead touching the floor. Legs together, hands by the side of thighs. Page number 134. Step 2. Fold the hands at elbows and place the palms by the side of the shoulders. Thumbs under armpits with tip of the fingers not crossing the shoulder line. Step 3. Inhaling. Slowly raise the head, neck and shoulders. Shoulders should be shrugged backwards. Step 4. Raise the trunk up to the navel region. Raise the chin as high as possible. Step 5. Eyes should be kept gazing upward. Step 6. Maintain the position for 5 to 10 seconds or as long as comfortable. Step 7. To come back, bring down the upper part of navel region, chest, shoulders, chin and head. Step 8. Place the forehead on the ground and arms along the body, hands by sides of the thighs. Relax. Please check the image given on this page to understand these steps clearly. Now, points to remember. Do's. Put minimum weight on hands. Distribute weight on the back. The trunk should be raised up to the navel only. While raising, shoulders should be shrugged backwards. Don'ts. Do not give jerk to lift the body. Do not allow the elbows to spread out. Do not raise the region beyond the navel region. Now let's discuss the benefits of this asan. It affects the spinal column and makes it flexible. It solves digestive complaints. It increases intra-abdominal pressure, benefiting the internal organs, especially the liver and kidneys. It relaxes the body and mind. Limitation Those suffering from hernia, peptic ulcer, intestinal tuberculosis and acute abdominal pain should avoid this practice. Page number 135 9.4.10 Makarasan, crocodile posture. The posture is called Makarasan as the body resembles the shape of Makar, which in Sanskrit means crocodile. Makarasan is a relaxing asan to body and mind and is very beneficial for reducing stress. Let us perform Makarasana by following the steps given below. Step 1 Lie down on your stomach. Step 2 Keep the legs at a comfortable distance with heels inside and toes pointing outward. Step 3. Fold the arms at elbows and keep them under the head. Step 4. Place the head on the cushion of the arms. Close the eyes and relax. Step 5. To come back, bring the arms along the body and legs together. The image given on this page depicts how Makarasan has to be done. Remember the following points. Do's. Both elbows can be kept slightly apart if found difficult to put one above the other. Do a deeper abdominal breathing. Don'ts. Do not press the chest hard on the ground so that the breathing becomes uncomfortable. 
do not bring the feet together. Now let's discuss the benefits of this asana. Traditionally, it is a relaxing posture. It is beneficial in almost all psychosomatic disorders. It is beneficial for respiratory organs as well as digestive organs. Limitations Those having complaint of obesity and cardiac problems should avoid this practice. 9.4.11 Shalabhasan Locust Posture this asana is named after the locust. In Sanskrit, Shalab refers to locust and asana means posture. In the final posture of this asana, body resembles a locust. Let us perform Shalabhasana by following the steps given below. Step 1. Lie flat on the stomach, legs together, hands by the side of the thighs, palms facing downward and heels together. Chest and forehead should be placed on the ground. Step 2. Place both palms under the thighs. Step 3. Stretch the chin slightly forward and keep it on the floor. Step 4. Inhaling and pressing the palms on the ground, raise both the legs upward as high as possible. To better understand, step 1 till step 4, please check the image given on this page. Now moving on to step 5. Maintain the position with normal breathing for few seconds. Step 6. To come back, slowly bring down the legs to the floor. Take out the hands from the thighs. Lie flat on the stomach, legs together, hands by the side of the thighs and palms facing downward. Remember the following points. Do's. Use the hand to balance and also to control the body weight. While lifting the leg, contract the lower dorsal muscles and press the abdomen on the floor. Legs should be outstretched and straight. Don'ts Jerk and unbearable strain should be avoided. Do not rush through the exercise and do not push yourself too much. Do not put too much pressure on the hands. Benefits Shalabhasana stimulates the autonomic nervous system, especially the parasympathetic system. It strengthens the lower back and pelvic organs. It gives relief in the conditions of mild sciatica, backache and non-serious slip disc. Page number 137 It is a good exercise for the legs, thighs, hips, buttocks, the lower abdomen, diaphragm and wrists. It improves blood circulation in the pelvic region. It helps to reduce excessive fat formed around the knees, the thighs, the waist and the abdomen and thereby improves physical appearance and positive body image. It helps to regulate the functioning of liver. It is beneficial to increase elasticity and flexibility of spine. Limitation People suffering from high blood pressure, asthma and cardiac diseases, weak lungs, hernia, peptic ulcers and intestinal tuberculosis should avoid practicing this asana. You are just listening to this audiobook. Narrator Neeraj Yado, Technical Coordinator Bati Langlingdo, Sound Recordist Vikas Sangwan, Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma, Directed and Produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.